Hi everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. In this quick update video, I'm going to show you what I've managed to sell month of December 2016. Um, December being a quiet month because of the holiday period and you know, Christmas and I'm kind of taking wise um, I'm down about 200 to 250 quid. Uh, these are some of the stuff I've actually managed to sell in the month of December. So there was roughly about 68 sales. Some of this stuff is usual stuff. You can see one, you know, the peanutty stuff like your uh, children alphabetic talking things and toys and um, key finders. That's quite interesting. I've um, picked this <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> teenage mutant ninja turtle figure for uh, I picked it up for a pound and that went for 1850.53. I always put odd numbers in so I used to put 95, I realize now it makes more sense just to put any odd numbers up. So it sounds good. Uh, my last of the mouse mat has just sold. These, these were quite r rubbishy type I bought from China. I managed to sell them, I had about 40 of those. So they just won, that was a good thing. Um, these are very slow now. Thomas the Talk, Thomas the Tank Engine. There's not much money in it. I guess relatively just waste of time because of the shipping and everything. Just it's not worth anymore. Again, as you can see, key ring, key finder thing. I don't have any more. Now I managed to sell a pair of jeans there. Uh, I'm not so, so keen. I have so many listings on clothes and it's relatively it's a kind of slow sell. Now here's my usual good seller, always. Um, New Era 5950 caps always tend to do well on those. Now here I just put a bit of discounting in. Um, now this is quite interesting. If by chance you can get hold of one of those, grab it. Don't waste time. It's like a fat monitor. Right. I paid four quid and that went for thirty-two eighty-three. That's one of those. If you ever see one of those fat monitors. Omron fat body monitor, just grab it. Don't think twice, just get it. This is a good sell. Now, um, I'm slowly starting to start to sell ladies' belts and gents' belts. I'm doing quite well at these. These are these ones I picked up for um, Hobbs of London for four quid. Now I sold it for 1652. Now these are good sales and pair of shorts torn and, and Levi's some guy wanted to take it to um, South Africa on a holiday, safari holiday so he just bought it for $7.98 I paid I think I paid a pound for it. Now this is very interesting I bought five I think about five um, Four track stereo tape cartridge, you know, the old 70s cartridge, cassette deck type cartridges, yeah, four track. Now I paid five of them for I think £2.50, and here I sold one for £12.95. That went like a straight away, you went. Um, ceramic stuff. I knew it, I, I just looked in a charity shop, I found this 
Chris, uh, uh, I think four Christmas mugs, Santa's coffee mugs, and I just couldn't resist it. I must, I had to have them. I got them for, I think, four quid. Now that went for ten ninety eight. I know it's not much money, but when you take out the postage and things like that, well, still there's a lot of there's profit in it. Again, as you can see, these I've sold all of these uh, key rings, key finding things, so they're just gone. So that was good. Board game, I try to stay away from board game now. So it's a dead seller for me. So it's not worth my time picking up board game again. As you can see, this um, Sony key finder thing again. Again, is another one. That was my best seller, but thank God I've got rid of them because it's not worth it. It's good, you can get some sort of feedback. People buy it and they leave feedback, that's good, but it's not worth it. A teddy bear. Quid again, 10 quid back, very good. Badges, I tend to sell uh, lots of badges, so I put them in a bundle and Sometimes I just do it for, just to get the feedback. You know, you sell less of stuff just to get the feedback. Shoes a slow seller. Trainers. There's a toddler pair I paid four quid. Got back 14.77. So that's quite good. You know, if you can pay four quid, five quid, and can tend to sell at 20, 25, 15, uh, that's really good. Now this is a pair of winter um, ladies fur line boot. I sold it for 29.87, the lady took it and I had to, she sent her back because she realized the unfitter so I had to refund her money back on that one. So that was very disappointing, but anyway I could easily sell that again. Um, board game again. And now I think I told you this story before. Somebody threw a lot of uh, magazines, Vogue's and all the upmarket magazine on a payment. I picked it up and I'm just selling it for making loads of tons of money on those. Look, I paid just zero for those stuff. Again, as you can see, that key damn thing there. Uh, thank God I don't have any more to sell, so great. Here, pair of Reebok tennis court palm trainer, paid six quid, and I got back twenty Again, as you can see that magazine, again, Vogue magazine. Again, 6.34, didn't pay a penny for it. There's a fan in the road. Um, cassette, CD tapes, I tend to find it slow, so I, I don't bother anymore with those. Some cases I just do, but sometimes I don't. It's not worth it. And here we go. Uh, again, th uh, another 8-track cartridge, Autumn Heart, Mother Pink Floyd, 70s CD 8-track cartridge. I told you before I bought it for 250 for 5 I think, and now that went for, how much did I go for? 1986, that was a killing there. So if you ever get a chance and you find one of these, those eight tracks get cartridges, grab them because they go like wildfire. If you can get the right one, brilliant. This is a collector's item. You know, people just buy every hand, they don't care if it works or doesn't work. They just buy it to show other people and just keep it in their 
antique collection. Now, years ago I used to sell pool poultry, dolphin and stuff like this, pools, stuff. Now, nowadays it's just gone out of the window, waste of time. I had this for about seven months. From 10 quid, I reduced to seven, seven pound something and that went. So that was a good thing. Now, that's a stealer. Paid a pound for it and it went for nine eighty nine twelve ten quid. Now I was surprised I had um George Michael stuff in there and because Michael's passed away and a couple of those CD went like a wildfire, just people just bought it straight away. And now this is a new thing for me. I bought some iPhone charger, cable charger. At first, I wasn't doing that well with them, and now slowly, slowly start to sell. I think my my listing must have gone up a bit, so that's why people start buying. So that was a good thing. I bought a, I think a bunch of them from China. Now here, Ralph Lauren jean, size 30. I think I paid two pairs of Ralph Lauren. I paid 20 quid for 10 quid each. And I got 18.31 back, which is not bad, I guess, but I, over, I overpaid for the, uh, the jeans. At least I got 18 quid back on that one. And these, you know, these are my best sellers. And I pr I think anybody's good sellers are these lot. Tommy walk about baby monitors, you know, they are, they, you know they're going to sell. And if you ever get them in a car boot cell or you get them in a charity shop, just buy them, don't waste time because you know you're going to sell them. And I have sold so many of those over the last year. Now, Tommy walk about this one, I paid four quid. I don't pay more than four quid for those. And I got 11.93 back. And also another one, Motorola baby monitor here, again. Now I paid, again, this one slightly higher, five quid. And I got about 13.85 on that one. And the usual Harry Potter Nike Air Force One. Pay six quid and got back twenty six twenty. If you ever buy Nike pair trainers, you know I tend not to pay more than six quid. The maximum I would go down eight quid. I don't even go more than that. And the thing to realize when you buy Nike. Make sure you look at the label, make sure they look at the tag and every Nike has a number, a serial number. It's so like this one, it has got 315122-111. That is the serial number of that trainer, that's the manufacturer's number, the product number. So if you, if you look at that tag and it gives you that serial number, nine number serial number and you know it's genuine so look for that number when you're buying Nike and Nike's shoes and trainers can be tricky but um, they do sell it takes time a bit and if you get space and time and then you, you know some people bother with cleaning them and making it look nice and then flog it but I tried all that cleaning business, it just doesn't work. If they want to sell, they will sell it with the shitty dirt on it, so don't worry about it. And now, yeah, I know if you can clean it, then you get me extra, you can ask for extra. Yeah, I, I do get all that. But if you have the time and energy to do that, by all means do it. Once again, guys and girls, 
Thank you for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please like, subscribe and click comment below the video. And let me know what you think about these videos. And if you want me to go in depth some of this stuff, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching. And please, please make sure you go into my blog site. It's called makemoneyonlineblog.co.uk. So that's again, makemoneyonlineblog.co.uk. Have a look around. You can see a lot of stuff about me and my lifestyle, selling and not selling, what I'm trying to do at the moment. Once again, thank you so much for your help.